and I wake up. But the next day, going to the Women's March at Boston Common, and and so I'm thinking because I'm it, I'm just I'm completely into this on this Saturday morning. It's cold out in Boston, and I'm thinking, how are we going to fight back against Trump? And I, I at this point I know we got to have an army. We got to have an army because it's the only way we can do this. We don't have the votes in the House. We don't have the votes in the Senate. We got to have an army. And I'm thinking, how do you raise an army? Where does an army come from? What does an army look like in a case like this? And so as we're rounding the corner to go into Boston Common, I look up and I'm seeing all these people moving toward the common, the women in pink pussy hats and men pushing strollers and kids on bicycles. And I look over and there's this man with this little girl on his shoulders and she's holding up this sign. And the sign, hand lettered, carefully done, says, I fight like a girl. <laughs> and I thought, me too, sweetie. <laughs> And that, that for me was the moment. Mm. I said, this is our army. And, and it did change from that moment.